And now to go deeper into this and these escalating tensions, we're joined by Elizabeth Bra, Senior Associate Fellow at European Leadership Network. Thanks so much for joining us here tonight. Thank you. Now, we've just reported this breaking news. Hezbollah fired apparently 40 rockets from Lebanon into Israel. Netanyahu is convening his war cabinet. I mean, one of the main stories tonight was how would potentially Iran respond. Is this now this first beginning of this retaliation? I mean, it's a proxy, or is this just a taste of things to come? Um, it's... We have no way of knowing that that is that is the answer, and uh, Iran can afford to to take some time to decide what to do. This may be uh, the totality of its response. It may also be just the first step. Uh, the point is, Iran doesn't want uh, a war, and so it has to figure out how to respond forcefully without risking a major war. And and I think that's that's what it's doing. And it, with Hamas, uh, with, sorry, with Hezbollah responding, that that essentially it is. Iran showing that it doesn't want a major war, but it doesn't mean that uh, it won't uh, it won't uh, respond directly at a later point. But in in conflicts, in diplomacy, you always have uh, the attacked side. Usually, you have the attacked side side saying we'll respond in a time and manner of our choosing, and that is exactly what Iran uh, is likely to do or is already doing in this case. Right. So it seems that uh, there will be another response from Iran, possibly at a later date. I kind of wanted to uh, look at Hezbollah a little closer, right, because they've been uh, exchanging fire with Israel since really the beginning, right, since October. And they were trying to expand the, the front line horizontally, right, by uh, targeting um, sort of um, military uh, posts in Golan. So uh, do you think that uh, the situation could escalate, but I mean only uh, between Lebanon and Israel? Iran and Israel have been engaged in a, in a, a long-standing shadow war, so it's not as if, as if uh, this is a newfound enmity between the two of them. They, there have been various areas of confrontation in recent years. Cyber is one, constant cyber attacks uh, between Israel and Iran. Uh, shipping in, is another area that have been numerous attacks uh, on, on ships belonging to the respective side in the Strait of Hormuz. So it, it, it could escalate that way too. There are many ways in which you can carry out the conflict without it letting uh, turn into a major military conflict. And I think that's what will happen this time too, simply because a military conflict between the two of them would just be so extremely uh, destructive, not just to them, but to the entire region and beyond. Mm -hmm. And I think that's exactly, you mentioned this as well, and we've covered this as well, in terms of this shadow war that's been ongoing for some time. I mean, a strike, as bad as it is from Hezbollah, is nothing new per se. I suppose now the calculus would be, is how does Israel respond to this? Um, is this going to now warrant another stronger response directly into Lebanon? We've seen that before. We've seen, of course, uh, Israel take strikes also in Damascus as well. Uh, I mean, is this... Let's say, is the mold of this any different than it has been in the years past? Or how will Israel potentially now react and respond to this? I think the, 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 the novel aspect of this is that uh, Israel opted or chose to attack uh, a diplomatic uh, mission belonging to Iran uh, in another country. Now that is is quite provocative. So it's 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 a new aspect of of this conflict and one where I Iran is essentially uh, now has to respond in some way. And 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 again, that brings us back to the guessing game of is this Hamas strike? Is this the the complete response, or is it just the beginning? Just as what we saw with um, the U.S. Uh, response to its uh, the killing of, of uh, three of its soldiers recently, uh, we are still we are still not sure whether the strikes that the U.S. carried out in response to that whether that is the complete response or just the first step, and that's what makes this whole situation so 
uh, risky because we just need one of these different, many different aspects to escalate uh, or one person, one leader, one side to make a mistake or a miscalculated move. And all of this could escalate beyond uh, beyond uh, b- what can be contained. And, and that's what also makes it so difficult for, for decision makers and, and uh, on both sides, on all sides, uh, because there is that moment of uncertainty, the moment of human error, and, and the moment of, of then needing to make a decision quickly on, on what to do in case there is a serious case of escalation. So it's, it's extremely risky at the moment, not because anybody wants a huge war, but because so much can go wrong. Yeah, indeed. And I think this is why I said this is such a tense, tense moment we're all observing. Um, at the same time, we've seen certain, uh, let's say, movements also in the Red Sea uh, where there have been missile fire against Houthi rebels. But let's hope that um, there is going to be calm with this, but very, very tense situation indeed. We'll conclude it there. Elizabeth Brawl was our guest. Thank you so much.